This WWE superstar has seen a very unusual and interesting 2020. Her part in it just as unusual, interesting, and emotional. With all the splits and changes, when all seemed lost, she was found, finding herself and improving and proving her wrestling acumen. She won a battle royal last eliminating a shocked Natalia to challenge Asuka for the Raw Women's title. At Survivor Series, her Raw teammates disparaged her, especially that Nia Jax. But still, she won the sole survivor for Team Raw against Team SmackDown. Now she has joined forces with Raw Women's Champ Asuka and they challenge for the WWE Women's Tag Team titles facing champs Shayna Baszler and that Jax at WWE TLC on Sunday, December 20th on WWE Network. This is a survivor and improving WWE superstar. Don't count out Lana. Thank you, Lana. Wow, how do you describe 2020 for Lana? <laughs> insane, insane year. Oh my God, insane year. I think for all of us, um, right? I love uh, most of us have had a, had a pretty crazy year. Um, so Lana feels most of the world's pain, and I, I think that can be very. Uh, that's an unusual statement in itself. <laughs> um, but man, I'm. I have. There's been a lot of, there's been plenty of lows, some really, really moments that I've been really, really sad, and then there's been moments that I've just been so overwhelmed with joy, and, um, but I think it's, it's, it's such a, such a visual and such a statement to me that I was a sole survivor, because I feel, you know, truly that reflects, that reflects me, my, that reflects Lana in every shape and form and who she is as a person in her whole entire life, but she will survive. And, you know, might be under some very strange circumstances. <laughs> um, but she's going to survive. She will never give up. You're not going to keep her down, and she is going to find a way. And I hope to encourage other people who, you know, sometimes our road to success won't always be traditional. And sometimes our road to success will be really, really hard. But we just we got to keep on persevering. We got to keep on um, getting back up and, um, you know, keep on trying to kick ass through it all. Inspiring is a good word for that and for you to be able to just overcome what you overcome to get to where you are. And for most superstars, professional wrestlers, the journey is like a roller coaster. Are you a fan of roller coasters? I am a fan of roller coasters. <laughs> Ironically, I'm obsessed with the roller coasters, and I am a, very much of an adrenaline junkie. I love my skydiving and my crazy, crazy roller coasters. So, but, but both the way, I love wrestling. <laughs> Any roller coasters come to mind? <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, I mean, I really like Superman from Six Flags. That's awesome. All right, so so you and Asuka have already beaten the tag team champs twice. Do you think you've made them angrier, or are you in their heads? Ooh, I, I know I've made Naya angrier. I mean, I know that. I, I'm sure I've made Shannon angrier, too. Um, but, you know, I'm hoping we got into their heads a little bit. I, ooh, Naya terrified me this week when I'm like, uh, on Raw, I was already so scared, and then Oscar came in and was, you know, reminding me to believe in myself and um, reminding me the power of affirmations and re reminding me the power of our words. And um, you know, if if we say if we constantly are saying we're not good enough, we're not this, we're not that, we're for sure not going to be that. Um, so she reminded me the importance of saying, you know, believing in myself, and I, it's hard for me to believe. I'm really scared to face that, you know. I wanted to somehow try to get out of that match on Monday and um, just make her at TLC so she can't, like, water me and snap me in half. But, you know, also reminded me that that's not the way we have to live life. Like, we got to run into our issues. We got to run into our Goliath. Like, David did not run from Goliath. He decided to go to war and face Goliath. And, um, I don't know, David's one of my favorite historical characters. And, um... I have always identified with him in many ways, just like this right now. And I'm like, okay, I, I'm ready. I've been training, and I'm ready, and I'm going to give it my give it my best and give it my all on Monday. And 
I pray to God that Oscar and I will achieve the impossible, what people think. Um, just like how I achieved on the Soul Survivor, the impossible. And um, I believe and hope and pray and working hard, we're going to become women's tag team champions. That feels and no. a dream. For me, it's like literally a dream. So, oh, I really hope dreams come true. I mean, this is the country that we, you know, people move to America to chase their dreams and to... Um, America teaches you hard work leads to profit. You know, this isn't Russia. I'm not living in Russia. We have very different slogans. But this is America. And America teaches us that hard work leads to profit. America teaches us never give up. America teaches us is that this is the land of opportunity. So I, I moved to this nation to pursue all my dreams. And I'm so thankful that many of them, you know, and I am living my dream. And my dream is to become champion. So... I'm hoping that everything that this country has taught me is true. The championships are on the horizon. It's going to be outstanding at WWTLC Sunday, December 20th on WW Network. Naya has put you through so many tables and you keep getting back up. Do you think it would be better to win the tag team gold or put Naya through a table at TLC? <laughs> Sound really delightful, actually. <laughs> God, I would love to put Naya through a table. I mean, that would be so phenomenal. But you know, she is she's Goliath, and I'm David. So um, I I want to become champion more than anything, and um, I have to keep my eyes on the prize. I think in life we can get very distracted on trying to um, get our revenge, you know. And to me, the greatest revenge is success. And so I'm hoping that. I feel that if I become champion with Austin, that's the biggest screw you to Naya and Shana. As you mentioned on Monday Night Raw on the USA Network, you go one-on-one -on -one with the tough, mean, strong Nia Jax. Have you ever been up against anyone as strong as Nia Jax? Absolutely not. <laughs> I, I think you know, Nia is stronger than most of the men, you know, and so I haven't, I haven't fought men yet, and... <laughs> Um, Naya's been in the Royal Rumble. I mean, she was being a Randy Orton. <laughs> Let's just let that set in for a second. That's how strong she is. And she's tough. And she's, you know, 300 pound Samoan who is just can freaking probably break the ring if she really wanted to, like snap it in half. And I know the odds are really against me. Um, but I'm willing to, man, pack my bags and show up and risk it all and fight for my life. And then uh, put her through a table. <laughs> yes. Well said. Both at TLC. And who knows, maybe on Monday Night Raw. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. Lana, I mentioned Survivor Series. You mentioned Survivor Series. Was Survivor Series the turning point for you in 2020? Oh, man. I feel, you know, Survivor Series was such a roller coaster of emotions. Like, I literally, I don't even know how to describe it in words because I, you know, was in the ring and I'm fighting and I was doing well and I'm, you know, I was in the ring with the boats and with Liv Morgan and Natalia and the boat, the best of all time. And I, and they bullied me. They, my teammates would not tag in. I'm like trying to tag them in. I'm beating Natalia up and they just didn't want anything to do with it. And they bullied me to standing on the stairs. So in that moment, I'm so devastated because all I want to do is fight. All I want to do is fight. Like, I have all, I don't know how you feel about this, you guys, but I have all this sense of anger and frustration from this year. Sometimes by just not even seeing humans and just sitting inside my house by myself. And it's just like, I want to punch someone in the face sometimes. And that's why I love fighting. <laughs> it gives me the opportunity to do that. Um, and then none of them wanted anything to do with me. My, my partners, and it's like, don't you guys want it? Let's try to win. And then they tell me to go stand on the stairs. And in that moment in time, it was a crazy thing that happened because I thought, okay, what I want more than anything is for us to win. Like this is what we, we need to win. They don't, they won't, they won't be, they won't play teammates with me. And, you know, maybe if I stand here, maybe they're incredible. Maybe, maybe if I have to be the sole survivor, maybe I, that will help the team. You know, maybe if everyone somehow failed and I'm the last one standing here, maybe that will help the team. And the whole point is for us to win, you know? And that's all I was thinking is I want Raw to win. I'm going to do anything for Raw to win. And for some reason, that method of insanity, method of madness, caused not only Raw to win, but me to be the sole survivor. And so I went through all these emotions of devastation. 
devastation, of feeling friendless, of feeling hopeless, of just being sad, to then us winning and me being the sole survivor. And I just feel like it was, it really, it really showed me something at that moment. It showed me that, you know, maybe it's better to not be selfish. And I feel like Lana throughout the years on WWE television has had a lot of selfish moments. And I think that, you know, when Bobby Lashley divorced her this year, you know, that was a real, that was the lowest for her this year and for me and speaking of third person. But um, I, I think, yes, that, that was to see the difference from June with uh, when that happened, the divorce to um, when I won being the sole survivor. I, it was just a, such a reflection of like how you can live your life so differently if you're selfless how differently your life can be when you do care about other people just than yourself and um, when you work hard. And it just was, for Law and I, really a moment to be like, I'm going to start living my life differently. And um, that's, yeah, and I, I, that's a lesson I've learned many times throughout my life, and I'm really glad that I could in, um, implement that in my character this year and show that because I think that is a real, real-life lesson. It's like... You know, the actions that we take in life, every single action matters. And we can choose our own destiny. And so I'm so thankful I'm able to tell this through WWE programming is like when you, Lana cheated on her first husband. And so, of course, her second husband left her. And I think, you know, when you work hard and you persevere and you're selfless and you think of others, you know, Lana became the sole survivor, and I'm very thankful that I was able to tell that these stories on WWE programming this year. Well, last question for you. We'll get you out of here. And obviously, we've got the big match, Lana against Nia Jax on Monday Night Raw on USA Network. And we have TLC coming up on Sunday, December 20th on WWE Network. Raw is on USA Network, and then TLC will be on WWE Network Lana, how many languages can you say Merry Christmas in? Novom Godam, Budstar Royal. I can speak um, it too. Two. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's one more than me. <laughs> well, Lana, thank you so much. Again, Monday Night Raw, USA Network, Lana versus Nia Jax, then WWE TLC Sunday, December 20th, WWE Network where you have Lana and Asuka challenging Nia Jack, Shayna Baszler for the WWE Women's Tag Team titles. Thank you so much, Lana. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me.